Hey there students! In this video, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to fiscal and monetary policy and go into the differences between the two. So first of all, when we're looking at fiscal policy versus monetary policy, what do they have in common? What they have in common is that they are both government policies that affect economic growth. Now, the difference is what exactly they do and who does them. So first of all, let's talk about fiscal policy. Now, fiscal policy is set by Congress, and fiscal policy has to do with taxes and government spending. So those are the two things governed by fiscal policy. Basically, when we think about taxation and the budget. Fiscal policy has two purposes. First of all, to fund the government's operations. The government has to figure out, okay, how much do we need in tax revenue in order to run the government and then how much are we going to spend and if we've got a deficit how much are we going to borrow then when we think about fiscal policy as well not just how much we're going to tax but how are we going to tax? Are we going to do this through import taxes, which of course very little part of federal revenue. Most federal revenue is from income taxes. So are we going to tax the rich significantly more than the poor? Where are going to be the tax brackets and who's going to get a tax break? All of that has to do with fiscal policy. Now that helps to fund the government, but also Congress typically tries to set fiscal policy with an eye for economic growth. For example, if taxes were too high, that's going to have an adverse effect on the economy. And there are a few things that if the economy isn't doing so well, if there is a recession, Congress could, on one hand, cut taxes to try to stimulate the private sector, or they could increase spending in order to try to stimulate the economy through government spending. One thing we need to note about fiscal policy is that it is set by elected officials in Congress, so it's definitely something that's political. For example, recently President Trump and the Republicans in Congress passed a tax plan. They passed tax cuts. And so this is something that was a Republican priority and part of what they ran on. So politicians run with specific plans for fiscal policy. Another politician may run on a promise for a balanced budget. That would be another matter of fiscal policy if Congress decided we're going to work toward a balanced budget where we are going to try to make it to where we take in more tax revenue than we spend. Imagine that. Now on to monetary policy. Now monetary policy is set by the Federal Reserve which is an independent regulatory agency made up of a board of governors which are appointed by the president, nominated by the president, and confirmed by the Senate. Much like the Supreme Court, uh, the people on the board of governors get a 14-year term. Now what monetary policy is, this deals with interest rates and the money supply. Now these two things are controlled by the Federal Reserve. How much are people going to charge in interest when there's borrowing and how much money is going to be out there? Now, now, the purposes of regulating interest rates and the money supply with interest rates, the Fed, as it's called, is trying to encourage or discourage borrowing. So, for example, when we think about it, there are situations where the Fed wants to encourage borrowing because that's when people are investing and starting businesses and stuff like that. So, when they're borrowing, they are helping economic growth. So there are times when the Fed wants to stimulate the economy by encouraging borrowing. But then again, let's say that there's too much borrowing. People are, uh, you know, there's too much consumer spending and people are getting into debt. Well, you might want to cool that off. Maybe there is a bubble on the horizon. Everybody's investing in this or that and the Fed's concerned that things are heating up a little too much. Because remember, you don't want just unchecked economic growth over a long period of time. It's unsustainable. So what the Fed's trying to do is to keep economic growth at a somewhat even pace. Now, speaking of keeping things at an even pace, the regulation of the money supply, that is about controlling inflation. There's going to be a bit of inflation, not a bad thing. But when inflation gets to be too much, such as in the 1970s, that creates problems because people want their money to be worth something. They don't want it to continually lose value. 
Another thing we want to note when we're thinking about the political process, that since the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve is an appointed body and they're appointed for 14-year terms, the Federal Reserve is an independent regulatory agency. They're not supposed to be directly responsive to political pressures. Now, we don't want to call the Federal Reserve apolitical because let's remember that the board is nominated by the president, confirmed by the Senate, so there's a political process. Now, also, if the Fed has policies that are very controversial, there may be calls to audit the Fed or to rein in the Fed's powers, or perhaps some people say that the powers of the Fed should be returned to Congress. So we're not going to call the Fed apolitical, but we certainly want to note that it is a lot less political when we're in monetary policy than fiscal policy. So just to recap real quick, when we're talking about fiscal policy, we're talking about something that is set by Congress, set by politicians, and that has to do with taxes and spending. Whereas monetary policy is set by the Federal Reserve having to do with interest rates and the money supply, and this is set by people who are appointed and less directly responsive to political pressures. Now, if you want to take a little more in-depth of a look, I would encourage you to go to Jacob Clifford's channel. Jacob is an economics teacher, and so he goes into AP Econ, and he's going to probably go a little little bit more in depth from this video. If you are taking AP government and politics, you might want to check out my friends at marcolearning.com. There is a prep course featuring yours truly. And of course, you're always welcome to check out tomritchie.net. It is always a pleasure.